In this video, I'm going to show you how to use an Android phone as a web camera for Zoom calls and the Filmic Pro app with a Windows 10 PC to dial in your video quality so that you can get better quality for your Zoom calls, maybe even better than a web camera. For all you loyal subscribers, I've got a secret hack at the end for Samsung users who also have a Windows 10 PC. So grab your coffee and chill with me. First, let's cover the equipment you're gonna need. Yes, there will be links in the description below this video where you can check out all the stuff we're using today. I'm gonna be using this phone clamp. It does actually have this flexible neck on it. There's the phone clamp here, and then we've got a LED ring light built in, which could act as a nice fill light. The reason why I like a kit like this is because you can travel with it easily. It just folds up and you can clamp it onto a desk. It's really versatile. And when you're spending your money on video equipment, versatility, in my opinion, comes at the top of the list when you're making a purchase like this and for less than $30. Another really popular type of setup is a tripod that extends, has a phone mount and a ring light built in. I like the other one better because this one isn't as portable and the other one is more flexible. Next up, we need an adapter for your phone. Most Android devices today use USB type C. So that's what I've got here. It's got the USB type C here. And then we have HDMI port. There's even an additional USB port and power source. We're gonna plug this in to power the phone. That way it doesn't die while you're trying to do your Zoom call. Next up, you're gonna need an HDMI cable. Last but not least, an HDMI capture card to eliminate any latency or bottlenecks in the streaming of your video. Without one of these, you might have a hard time having your video working properly. Before this little guy came out, which is like, I think about $20 on Amazon, you had to go with the Elgato Cam Link, which is over a hundred bucks and like nearly impossible to get right now. If you want really high quality, then you might want to try out the Elgato, but honestly, I've been testing this one and you can get a HD feed off of this that works great. So this is the one that I'm going to recommend you to purchase. Last but not least, make sure you've got your power cable. We want to provide a power source to the phone. All right, now let's show you how to set it up. So you could clamp this onto any number of things. Usually you probably clamp this onto a desk. I've got this set up here with this pole. So I'm actually going to mount it so that I can place the camera here at above the screen and I can position myself using the rule of thirds while being able to actually move the zoom window with the other people's faces in the conference basically right here so that when I'm looking at the camera in the phone it looks like I'm addressing the audience and I can see them in the same position. So let's go ahead and mount this. All right, now I'm going to show you how to set it up. So we're going to connect the adapter to the phone. Okay, next, plug in your HDMI cable. Next, plug in your power source so you can start charging your phone. Connect the other end of your HDMI cable to the HDMI capture card. Plug this into your computer's USB port. So before we mount the phone, let's just make sure that we've got the clean HDMI out turned on. That way, all of these elements that you see on the screen aren't going to show up in your video. As a quick note, you might see this 4K DCI option. I'm not going to turn this on because not everyone's going to have access to it. And if you do, you can always test it out for yourself. All right, let's go ahead and mount the phone here. So I'm gonna show you next how to dial in the settings in Filmic Pro on this device using a second Android phone and the Filmic Remote app. You might've noticed I have a pink Android phone here. This is actually my wife's phone. So for those of you who only have access to one Android phone, stick around to the end because that secret hack is gonna show you how to control your Samsung phone on a Windows 10 PC. All right, so we need to enable Filmic Remote. All right, now that we've enabled the Filmic Remote and connected the two devices together, I can use this device here to dial in the settings in Filmic Pro remotely. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna walk you through the settings that I would recommend. All right, so we're gonna start the Zoom app and we'll just create a new meeting. And look at that, it's already working. Now, if it wasn't working for you, then you would go down to video and you would select USB video in the drop down here. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna dial in our white balance settings on the phone here. 
So the white balance is pretty good here. Next, I wanna eliminate some of the stuff that's in the background. So we're gonna make sure that we've got, you know, a, a less distracting environment for our Zoom call. So I'm actually going to turn, in the, turn on the Zoom and this particular device has a little bit of optical zoom built in, so we don't have to lose any quality by dialing this in a bit. So let's go ahead and dial in the zoom right about here. Keep in mind, you can make adjustments with the camera. You can change anything you need. We want to make sure you don't zoom in too much, otherwise you do get quality loss. And I could also move the phone off to the side if I want the green screen to be out of the frame. As a quick note, one of the best ways to dial in your video and your audio quality is to capture your audio externally, not using the microphone that's built into your phone or your web camera, and also external lighting sources where you have more control. When you use your phone, pretty often the sensor's so small that the image is just really grainy, it's really noisy because there's not enough light. So one of the best ways to improve the lighting quality is external lighting. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you do, because I'll be covering this setup in a future video. Let me know in the comments below if you've already tried out a webcam setup like this with your phone or if you're going to try this out. All right, here's your bonus hack for anyone with a Windows 10 PC and a Samsung phone. If you don't have a second Android device available to remotely set up the Filmic Pro app, you can use the Your Phone app on Windows 10. So let's check that out. All right, so we've opened Filmic Pro on the Android device and we've enabled Link to Windows. So now we're going to go in and open up the Your Phone application. Go to Apps and just type in Filmic Pro. Okay, so now we have remote control over Filmic Pro and we can dial this in. It's looking way overexposed, so we'll just bring this way down. So launch the Filmic Pro app using the Your Phone application, dial in your settings for your Zoom call, and boom, you've got your phone set up as a web camera and you've got complete control over everything from ISO, white balance, exposure, and focus. You don't get that with a web camera. Most of them don't even allow you to dial in the exposure settings, especially those Logitech web cameras. If you'd like to learn more about the Filmic Pro app, I've got a playlist of videos for you right up here. As always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe, smash that thumbs up button, share it maybe, and I'll see you in the next video.